Hi everyone, this is Colleen Francis from Engage Selling Solutions. Thanks so much for joining me on today's sales leader strategy. Buyers are acting a little odd right now. And you know, who can blame them? It's a very volatile marketplace and it's gonna continue this way for some time. What is important for us to recognize is that buyers currently lack trust, but not necessarily lacking trust in you, lacking trust in themselves. And this is a subtle difference that I think is important for you to recognize because if they don't trust you, you probably just won't get a seat at the table. You won't get a chance to present your proposal and you're not going to win the business. If they don't trust themselves to make a decision though, this can cause deals and opportunities to be delayed. It can cause more people to be involved in the conversation. It can be cause it can cause revisions and updates and changes to your proposal as they work through all of the different machinations and they work to try to minimize their, their risk. And it's frustrating for a sales rep. Ultimately, buyers that don't trust themselves to make a decision often do nothing. You don't lose to the competition. You just lose to no decision. And that's the worst case scenario for them and for you. So how can we help buyers? trust themselves more. One of the best ways to do this is through case studies and referrals. They will start to trust their own judgment and their own ability to make a decision when they can talk to peers, people like themselves, who have gone through similar challenges, who can talk them through the pros and cons of doing business with you, the pitfalls, the points of momentum, the things they need to leverage and the success that they've had. And I believe that you need to give them access to people like this in a couple of different ways. One, we should have written case studies and testimonials that they can read on their own time. Two, we should have video evidence that you can show them of happy people really talking extemporaneously about the solutions that you've provided and the success. And third, I think you need to give them access to your customers in terms of being able to have a conversation or even a face-to-face -face meeting if they live in the same environment. But nothing beats that phone call where they can have an honest conversation with your best customers or colleagues of theirs in an industry association or maybe even in sister companies to really ask the questions they need to feel more confident in their ability to make a decision to choose you. Thanks so much for joining me on today's Sales Leader Strategy. For more conversations on topics just like this, visit us now in our communities on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and of course, on our website at EngageSelling.com.